The method of drug discovery based on drug-drug similarity has two principal limitations. First, one needs to have at least one known drug or compound to query the database. Second, the discovered new compounds may mostly belong to the same class as the queried drug or compound. Therefore, in order to find potential therapeutics for disease that has no known therapeutic, one has to explore the connectivity between the query disease and all known or investigational drugs. In the following example, using psoriasis, an immune-mediated, inflammatory, and hyperproliferative disease of the skin and joints, we will present a step-by-step -step approach to find novel candidate therapeutics for psoriasis. Psoriasis treatment consists of skin care wherein the aim is to remove scales and stop skin cells from growing too quickly. This involves usage of topical ointments such as steroids, vitamin A derivatives, and anti-inflammatory and immunosuppressive drugs. The first step is to obtain a list of dysregulated genes in psoriasis. For this, query the GEO to find available gene expression datasets for psoriasis. From the GEO homepage, type psoriasis and Homo sapiens to search for all gene expression profiles for psoriasis in human-derived samples. Then, in the result page, limit results to datasets by checking the datasets in the top left corner of the page. For this tutorial, we will use the psoriasis lesional and non-lesional skin dataset because it has the most samples. Scroll down to the dataset named psoriasis lesional and non-lesional skin, and click the GEO series number GSE 13355, which will direct us to the detailed dataset page. This page contains a summary of the dataset, information on experiment, assay platform and samples, source of data, and links to raw expression data. The next step is to extract a list of genes that are dysregulated in psoriasis. This is formally called differential expression analysis. Various tools such as R and Python can be used to perform such analysis. Here, we will be using a Geo-based web app called Geo2R, which is based on the R package lemma, for differential analysis. Click the Analyze with Geo2R to go the Geo2R web app, and start the analysis. The first step of differential analysis in Geo2R is to define sample groups. Click Define Groups in the red highlighted box, and enter two group names for psoriasis and normal samples. Next, highlight all the psoriasis samples from the dataset and then click the psoriasis group, and repeat this with the normal group. Now that we have properly defined the groups needed for differential expression analysis, click to start the analysis, and download the results. In the result table, remove genes with FDR adjusted p-value above 0.05 and with absolute log fold change less than 1. Filter out the row without gene symbol. Sort genes on log fold change. Remove duplicated entry.
identify the top 150 non-redundant genes as the upregulated query set and vice versa. With the query gene sets ready, we can now calculate each clue compound's connectivity to the disease gene expression profile. Go to the clue homepage and select the query app from the tools menu. The query interface has two components, the query name and the query genes. Once the query genes are correctly pasted in the query boxes, click the submit button to start analysis. The process of connectivity mapping typically takes about 5 to 10 minutes, and once complete, the results are posted. The result of a CMAP query is essentially a list of perturbagans rank ordered by the similarity of DEG sets to the query gene set. Select the psoriasis query we just ran, and click the heat map button to view analysis results. The connectivity scores of each compound to the query signature are organized by cell lines and visualized in a heat map. These results can be analyzed using this interactive web app or exported to text file. The additional summary column in this heat map represents the overall connectivity of each compound to the query across all the cell lines, and this is often the criteria we will use to rank the compounds if we are not sure which cell line to focus on. To reorder the compounds based on their overall connectivity to psoriasis, select Compounds under Perturbagan Type in the Quick Tools tab, and then double-click on the summary column in the red box. A positive score indicates that there is a similarity between a given perturbagan signature and that of the query. A negative score on the other hand indicates that the two signatures are opposing. In general, Clue recommends connectivity score of plus 90 or higher, and of minus 90 or lower, as strong scores to be considered as hypotheses for further study. Since we want to find compounds that could potentially reverse the disease gene expression profile, we focus on compounds that give negative connectivity score. Based on this, 18 compounds are considered as potential therapeutics for psoriasis. Among them, include lestritinib which is currently in clinical trial for psoriasis. Thus, these results suggest that the predicted connectivity of other significant drugs to psoriasis could be potentially interesting for further studies.